Greetings and welcome back everyone to Stardew Valley and Dapperdale Farm where this thing actually goes through its seeds super fast. Oh no, why did I do that? Uh, it goes through its seeds super fast. Let's uh, check on the weather report. Uh, expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Okay. Fortune teller. The spirits are mildly perturbed. Okay. And uh, living off the land. Find any tree seeds while chopping wood. You can plant these in the ground and a new tree will grow. Right, Ice Festival. Oh, did I forget your birthday? I did. I am such a jerk. Uh, oh, you seemed to go through your seeds really fast before. Oh, no, no, yeah. There we go. Another bunch of seeds. You're coming outside with me because you process seeds way too fast to be indoors. Um, I'm going to pop you over here until we are ready. Now, it is a festival day today. I believe that means there's going to be fishing involved. Right, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe my pappy used to make. It's important. The fish is fresh. Chowder, okay. Right, what kind of things have I got? I've got a treasure bobber. I actually think I would prefer a spinner for this, if we're going for anything. Spinner, I need two iron, two. Oh, that's taking a lot. Uh, we might have to wait on the stable a little bit longer then. But I really would like a spinner. So, two iron. I for also forget what's involved. Right, we we'll get a spinner. What's involved in making that bait? Ten fiber, five bug meat, five slime. I've got the fiber. I've got the slime. I need the bug meat to be able to make this. Uh, now you're coming with me. The spiceberry wine needs to go in there, though. And the gold needs to go over here. Dunk, dunk, dunk. The cranberries need to go in my inventory. Man, this is awesome. That thing is amazing. I need to do more of that. Crazy badly need to do more of that. Sunflower seeds. Spring seeds. Fall seeds. High quality fertilizer. Right. Well, it is time for us, my dear friends, to head to the mine, I think. Because we're going to need a bunch... Oh, damn it. We're going to need a bunch of bug meat ahead of this. There we go. Ahead of the festival. I have not been doing too well with the bug meat, I've got to be honest. Let's grab you. Oh, yeah. And they are all very happy indeed. Again, quite a lot of these large eggs. Imagine that makes extra awesome. Um, mayonnaise. There we go. Right, that's it for the cranberries for me now. Ah, Snufkin! Almost forgot. I'm so sorry. There we go. Right, I need to go... I think it said it was like 2 p uh, two p.m., something like that. Sorry, cranberry seeds. Just gonna have to sit there. I need more of those. I need more. If they're gonna work that fast, I'd need a lot more. 800 gold! We're actually getting really close to getting Pam her, her bus back. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, da -dum -da -dum. No, it was 9pm to 2pm then. Damn it, okay. We're not going to go get the bug meat. I should have, should have planned for that a little bit better. That is quite the shame. Quite the shame. Very well, we'll drop this off then. Um, the holly will sell. I will be going with this spinner though. And that should help out a little bit, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, we need to drop off a couple of other things here and there. Hither and yon. For example, I don't want these cluttering up my inventory for now. I guess I want those cluttering up my inventory. I'll take those with me. But those can all stay inside. I've got plans for them. But nothing to do with them yet. Right, I think that is about all I need. Really? What am I holding? Ah, uh, it's this. Oh well, that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Slimes, uh, I. No, I'm really not gonna take that all of that slime with me. Saw that for a game of toy soldiers. I'm gonna take out the. What do I care about? Problem is, everything in there I care about. Take out the scythe, you can go in there. And then the scythe can go over here instead. Makes a little bit more sense. Right, off we go. 
I'm going to take the minecart to the town because it's going to put me closer to getting into the to the beach. I suspect town. Ooh. Where's the beach I've got to go to, right? Could be completely wrong. Oh, that would be terrible if I am. Oh. Thank you. Could swing by Gunther's, but I'm not going to. Right. To the beach! Where, hopefully, there is... an event. Oh, Scallywags. It is not. It is not an event down here. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. I didn't pay attention to the warning. Ah, Penny, where's the event? Quick, tell me. On the 25th, we'll be having the fe uh, Feast of the Winter Star. It's one of my favorite events. Also, Penny, thank you. This looks special. You're welcome. The team Penny in the comments would never forgive me if I passed by and didn't give you something when I could. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Found it. Hey, Elliot. I'm entertaining the ice fishing, uh, entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? Indeed, why not? It's a rare that Willie ever loses, though. Uh, I suspect that is a fair thing to say, given that Willie is a fisherman. Oh, ice. A beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. Well, it depends where you live. I guess that might make the art even better. Yeah, that's certainly something about that. Hi, Robin. I'm sorry, but carving ice par parapets requires my undivided attention. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Hey there. The forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? How's winter coming along for you? I've actually pretty good. Hey, Shane. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Uh, I suppose. Hmm. Wife dragged me out into the cold for this. Oh, come on. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. Dude, that makes what you just said even worse. You met her here. He was a gentleman back then. I came over to see if I was okay. It's not too late, George. You can be a gentleman once more. Hello, Maru. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. Ah, it looks fine. This snow is so cold I can't feel my fingers anymore. Well, yeah, it's snow. What do you think of my snow goon? Looks pretty cool, actually. I like the way his arms are pointing in different directions. And the little little twig on top of his head. Looks like uh, hair that's gone awry. Hmm, what kind of snowman should I be make? Classic one. Carrot nose, top hat, scuff. Something funky. Icicle antennas, pine cone eyes. Snowmen are boring. Think outside the box. Um... Yeah. Be creative. Okay, that sounds like fun. I want to give him a carrot nose! Oh, Jazz, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Should've talked to you first. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? Oh, no. Emily Staring helped me without... Helped me without my any provocation. Did that mean something? <gasps> Emily started helping me without any provocation. Oh, Clint. Emily. Clint. I'm definitely team... Clamily. <laughs> I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Oh, very well. It's good to go in there being confident. Willie's gonna be pretty hard to beat, though. He does this kind of stuff day and night. Well, yeah, he's a fisherman. Some are okay, I guess, but mostly I'm looking forward to the spring. I guess winter isn't all bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I'm glad you said that. I do like your classic snowman, though. It's pretty cool. Seriously, Emily. Go easy on the guy. He's trying his hardest. Hey, Demetrius. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. Um, no, I always walk, go out in the cold in a vest as well. Hey, Abbott, ready for the snow? some snow fishing? Yes, I'm going to beat you. Yes, I'll do my best. To be honest, no, I'm bad at fishing. Uh, I'm not going to be provocative. I mean, I'll do my best. My best is just going to happen to be better than yours. That's the spirit. It's alright to be confident. Just don't act like a jerk. 
Sorry, there's no food. Just wait until the feast of the winter star. You'll be stuffed for days. Uh, yeah, but that's not the way I like to eat. I like to eat a little bit, but often. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Oh, and enjoy the festival. Hey, Marnie. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. It's fine. They got fur. Fur keeps them really warm. Yeah, there's this huge area that I can look in. Why? Linus, you made yourself an igloo. Igloo buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who live beyond the frozen sea. Wow. Linus, you've been around. That was many years ago. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier to just stay in my tent year-round. Linus, you've got a lot to teach people. I like that about you. Hey! Hey, come down, join in! Stop peeping on all of the villages all the time. Join in the festivals now and then. It's pretty nice. i got to be honest with you. I think it's a lost cause trying to convince Rasmodius to stop watching people from afar. Hey, Alec, you going to enter the ice fishing competition? Yeah, actually, I think so. Oh, no, me. I don't know how to fish. I could teach you. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Just like me. Is there a big fish down there? Good. Right. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to compete. Have I got everything? I've got my spinner. Yes. You ready to participate in the ice fishing? Yes! You know what? It would be more fair if you gave us all the same rods. Just saying. As much as I don't want to lose my edge. Right. Alright, everyone. Let's begin this year's ice fishing competition! Why am I not stood next to the thing? That's going to cost me precious seconds. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provider. Oh, thank goodness. Well done, Mayor. You saw through the potential unfairness there. You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. Well, is everyone ready? Yes. Begin! Have a, you get like a small disadvantage because. Uh, come hither, my lovely fish. That's right. Do I get any points for perfect fish? I hope, oh, I hope I do, even though I didn't get a perfect fish just then. Willie, you've got a, you've got a contest on your hands this year. I'm not going to lose easily. Hopefully, I don't lose. Hey. That's two. Come on, fish. How many do I need to catch? Like, is, it, is it like 20 or something? I bet Willie's got like 14 already. Damn it, Willie, and your expert fisherman skills. You probably started the day with a can of spinach as well. Just to make it harder on everyone else. Probably reeling in, like, snow sharks. Oh, no, algae! I'm starting to understand why people were all like, Yeah, it's a terrible gift. They probably had it too many years in a row when they've been entering the ice competition. Only got 50 seconds. Well, it's probably on 500 fish already. Pam seemed confident. She's probably on like 102. I've got four. However, if Elliot beats me, I don't mind. In fact, if Elliot is the like the least amount of fish, I'm going to secretly stick half of my fish into his pile. Bros before fishing competitions. It is a rule. No, no, no. You're going to be a perfect one. God, a few more seconds. Come on. Yes. Come on. I may be able to get you in four seconds. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are they going to call it? Are they going to let me finish reeling? Ah, oh, I started and you didn't let me finish. That's just mean. All right, then. Who is it? Ah, it's Midna. Oh, that's a lot of fish. The smell. Really? Come on. Now, for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. I can't judge it. 
My ability to judge at a glance is significantly... Ava, with six slimy... Willy threw it. Definitely couldn't be any other explanation. I did poorly. I got like three algae. No surprise. Enjoy. <gasps> Sailor's cap. Fresh and starchy. A dressed spinner. The metal tab and the colorful streamers create an enticing spectacle for fish. Increases the bite rate when fishing. Barbed hook. Makes your catch more secure, causing the fishing bar to cling to your catch. Works best on sl slow, weak fish. Magnet. Increases the chance of finding treasure when fishing. However, fish aren't crazy about the taste. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now, let's release these poor fish. Yeah, with their, like, mouths all chewed up by the hooks. Yeah, you know, you know what? That actually is kind of... Mm. Can't believe I won. Well, time to head home. No, I wanted to congratulate the other contestants. Damn it. What kind of jerk am I? I'm just, yeah, well, I won. Bye, everyone. You're not good enough for me to shake hands with or anything. Oh, I hated the people in rugby used to be like that. Right, well, before I go to bed, more cranberries. Also, have I got anything to drop off? No. I mean, check out my hat. Donk. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's too comical. No. <laughs> I appreciate the prize, but no. Uh, okay. Uh, what am I going to pop in there? I think I'm going to keep my various... Uh, my various lures, and I'm going to pop them in here. This one, this one, and this one, and, of course, the hat. I'm actually going to pop my treasure one back on, and, well, I guess the spinner can go in there as well, since I've got nothing else to do with it. Um, let's see, what else can I do? I think I would like to drop that off, and in fact, I would like to th then take that out and make myself some more copper. I have another... Uh, you know what, I've got loads of stuff to do, actually. Why was I even contemplating not doing it? There we are. Right, well, we've got a bit of time, but we've got no stone. That is a kind of problem. However, we've got loads of stuff that we can just at least lay down and dig up a few other things as well, besides. Oop, looks like you'll need an upgraded pickaxe to destroy this dense stone. That's fine, I've got an upgraded pickaxe. Okay. Doink. Right, now, time to start digging all of this up. There we go. Got to need to get rid of you as well, I'm afraid. And... There we are. We've actually got quite a lot of path around here. We're probably going to be able to get an enormous amount of this path done. I may have to start ex thinking about the other parts of the farm, because I've not really thought too much outside of what I've already built. I was expecting this to take a little bit more time than it's taken for me to get it all set up. Which is nice, certainly, but it does mean that I'm kind of caught a little bit uh, off guard. Uh, let's continue to build this area out. There we go. Okay. Let me head up here, grab you, and you, pop those in there, uh, you can stay on me because I'm going to be using you soon, and you can go in there. I think that is about all we need to do for now, except uh, the cranberry seeds can go in there as well. I've already got 19 cranberry seeds, that's amazing. Alright, no star stuff again. Oh, you don't need me to do anything there. Alright, go to sleep for the night. Did I feed the chickens? Oh, no. I may not have. That would be particularly jerky of me. Oh, well, we're about to go and see if they're in a horrible mood. Fortune teller. So it's somewhat annoyed today. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Sebastian's birthday tomorrow. Okay. I'll have to bear that in mind. Ah, uh, good old snow. 
Uh, pop that in there. Cranberries can go in. Ooh, they're starting to come along. Oh my lord, my chicken coop. No, they laid eggs, so they're fine. Are there any eggs down here? No, they can't seem to walk over there. That's fine then. And come on. Come on, out the way. There we go. Right. Okay, well, I clearly need like a load more stone than I've got. So today is going to be spent over the quarry, I suspect. So I'll drop that off as well. We, uh, that can come with me. Um, you know what? I'll, I might take the frozen frozen uh, tier along. I don't know. I could also swing by Rasmodius as well and say hello. Uh, but I really do need the iron now because I've pretty much used up my stock of iron. I haven't checked the crab pots either. I should do that too. But to the quarry first. Ooh, wiggly worms. Thank you. Now, it's, oh, there's, it definitely feels like things are regenerating over here. Yes, they are definitely regenerating, but they're not regenerating like every night. Okay, well, that's fine. It would have been a bit OP. Oh, another book. Thank you. You found a lost book. The library's collection is expanded. Do I have any coal on me? No, I do not. That is a shame. That is a crying shame because I could easily have like used a cherry bomb or two to wipe out these areas. Right, to the mines. And... We want iron, so we'll start on floor 40 and work our way down. Hello. Thank you. Aha! Ooh, and some uh, winter forage as well. We need the stone regardless, so there's a couple of things, a couple of reasons why we should be here right now. We will definitely be going for all of the large stones we can see. Large rock formations, rather. Oop, there we go. On the plus side as well, it'll give us a chance to look for some more upgraded loot that we might be able to find. Ooh, some iron over there. We're going to need to find the way down. There we go. Found it. Ah, oh, so good to be able to get through that all in one hit. Good, there we are. Some more quartz as well. We are probably going to need to go to the bathhouse a little bit later. There we go. It's only the 9th of winter. I do need to start fishing in different areas though, because there's probably going to be a bunch of different fish that I need to gather only in winter. It does seem that that is the case that each season has its uh, own speciality fish. Nope. We've already got a little bit of iron. Let's actually pop that on my hotbar so I can see exactly how much I've got. It's a reasonable amount so far. I'm surprised I found the... Oh, no. Damn it. I'm surprised I found the uh, way down already. That's quite useful, actually. Nope. Ooh. I don't think I've got that dwarf scroll. I think I might actually have all of them but that dwarf scroll. Oh, that is awesome. That might actually be worth going out of here much more early than I'd planned and heading to Gunther. Need to rearrange all the dwarf scrolls as well in the display so that I can tell which one I have. No idea how many they go up to, though. Ouch. But a few people have made comments that lead me to believe that it's four. No idea if I've got all the others yet, though. There we go. Okay, that's all the stone here. Nope. Wow, that was a high crit. We'll explore this floor. And then, 
Actually, we've got plenty of time yet, so we'll continue mining. We're up to 16, so that's another three iron bars. I think that's actually all we need for the stable. Which means that tomorrow we're probably going to get the stable unless we find something that's worth like five grand. In which case I'm going to prioritize getting Pam the bus because I suspect Pam having her work back is just going to end up being better of a penny as well. There we go. Ooh, good. Giant amount of stone. I say yeah, please. There we go. Let's see about over here. There we are. Oh, damn it. Oh, good. How much iron am I going to get from this? Ooh, seems that it's a fairly large level, this one. Decent potential of finding some good loot. Oh, dear. Spirit's not too happy with me being here. Okay, that'll do. Thankfully, I can get through these things pretty quickly. Wow. So many ways down. Good, that was a frozen tear. I am going to flat out need to eat a cake. Also, it is probably time that I leave at this point and go to Gunther's. Uh, yeah. I can find other things to do. I'm not going to pass that up, though. Thank you very much. 126 stone. Leave the mine. And then immediately go to town. And grab this. And then swing by Clint's place, give him some gold. Okay, productive day is productive so far. Hey, Clint. If you want me to upgrade your tools, you'll have to get me the materials. It's fine, I'll give you this as a gift. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. You're welcome, mate. Right, there we are. What else you got to say? And you'll have to pay me a fee, of course. <laughs> it's fine, Clint. I'm happy to help you out, mate. Right, Gunther, I have something to give you. Donate to museum. Now we've got, I think that's door scroll one. I'm not sure if this one's two or three, but we've now got four. And that's it. So we're still at least one to get. Because I'm fairly certain I've not got door scroll six. Oh, this is Dwarf Scroll 3, a yellowed scroll. This is Dwarf Scroll 1. This is Dwarf Scroll 4, a yellowed scroll of parchment filled with Dwarven script. This one's tied with a golden chain. Right, so those two need to be swapped over next time I come through. Hey, Elliot. People have scraped a living off the sea for thousands of years. I just go to the grocery store. Would you like a crocus? Is this for me? Marvellous! You're welcome. Oh dear. The Fisherman, Act 2. Tex, Gordy, tell me your best fisherman story. <sighs> I've caught a lot of big fish in my time, and some that are very rare and difficult. But there was one that I struggled to catch for three days and three nights. I call this fish the Legend. He was the huge beast, and the harder I tugged on the line, the harder he tugged back. I let my guard down for a moment, and he snapped my boot in two. Boat, not his boot. I've never fished since. Do you think anyone will ever catch him? Hmm. This person were a master at fishing and caught all other rare fish first and made sure they ate the correct kind of food. Then maybe. Above all, you've got to have respect for the water, son. Son? Do you mean your f father? Yes, my boy. Dramatic music at this curtain's call. Four. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my lord. Marriage guide for farmers. Specifically for Father, not for anyone else. This, this guide is inappropriate if, for example, you're a programmer. Before you ask someone to marry you, you'll have to date them for a while first. Ask someone to date you with a bouquet from Pierre's. 
Specifically from BS, my lord. When you're ready to pop the big question, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Everyone knows what it means when you present them with one of these. It's rumored that on stormy days, the ghost of an old mariner appears in Stardew Valley, clutching just such a pendant. After the wedding ceremony, your partner will move in with you. Remember to treat your spouse well. They still like gifts, even after marriage. Paid for by Pierre. <laughs> I was wondering. Ah, oh, Pierre. You try so hard. Technology report. The blueprints for an advanced piece of machinery called a crystallarium have recently been published. This machine can grow crystals from almost nothing, providing their owners with endless supplies of valuable gems. Here's how it works. Place a gem in your choice of your choice inside the crystallarium. Now be patient. It can take up to several days, but eventually the crystallarium will grow a copy of whatever you place inside. You'll know it's ready when it stops wiggling. Once you remove your gem, the crystallarium will start working on yet another clone. You'll never need to restock it, unless you want to change the kind of gem it produces. Unfortunately, the crystallarium doesn't work with the extremely rare gemstone known as the prismatic shard. For some reason, the EMF from the shard interacts negatively with the crystallarium. Wow, I need one full of diamonds. Secrets of the legendary fish. Fishermen speak of five rare and unique fish that can only be caught by skilled anglers. Once caught, they will never again appear. The crimson fish lives in the warm ocean waters of summer. It's been sighted on the far eastern side of the beach. The glacier fish, which only appears ooh, in winter, can be caught off the southern tip of Arrowhead Island in Cinder Snap Forest. Where the hell is Arrowhead Island? Near where the river meets the ocean. The anglerfish has been spotted in fall north of the town where the river flows down from the mountains. There's a rumor of a strange twisted fish that lives in the sewer. The final fish of a species never before caught is known simply as legend. It is rumored that he lives in a log submerged in the mountain lake and only ventures out on rainy spring days to nibble at frogs' eggs. Only the most skilled fishermen can hope to catch this one. Train at fishing and be persistent and eventually you will catch these elusive fish Make sure to respect the water, and don't remove too many fish from the ecosystem. That is good advice. I mean, genuinely, that is really good advice. Alright, well, I've got like a whole day to do stuff. Hey there. <sighs> Mom won't let me have any more gummies. What? Giggle. Hey, Sam. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Oh, thanks, Sam. Uh, I don't have any peppers to give you, though. Try it. Sorry, Sam. Uh, let us go south and check out the waters. I'm to go and see if I can find this glacier fish. Might be an evening well spent. Plus, fairly sure Cinderstat Forest is the one where the festival was held. I honestly don't know. Maybe I should pay attention to the bloody signs. There are signposts around, and I've not read many of them. Wiggly fish. No. Anything else? No. Okay, well, we're off. I mean, I've almost got a full inventory at this point, which is kind of a pain. Uh, I should have should have got Clint to do open up most of those. I'm such a dope. Didn't even think of it, because I usually specifically go out in order to get my geodes inspected. So, by... <laughs> Going out when I didn't expect to have that happen. I forgot to do it entirely. Hey, Penny. Oh. How are you doing, anyway? I'm looking forward to seeing what your farm looks like in the spring. Um, Hopefully it'll look good. Uh, I don't know. I'm about to blow quite a lot of money on something. So, I might not have much money to buy seeds. That'll be awkward. Still, I am quite enthusiastic about the way my farm is turning up now. Leo. Bus stop, Pelican Town. Oh, we don't need to go to the bus stop. We already went there, and we know that there's nothing there for us today. Uh, let's uh, drop off a bit of slime, some bat wings. I am not going to drop it the coal, because I want it all. Uh, do we have anything else I need to drop off? Uh, yeah, that. And these. And frozen tears. Ooh, we've got a lot now. We have got 
one shy of... I actually need that opened up. Got one shy of ten, and I believe ten was the amount that we were waiting on. Some sap as well. Okay, we've got a few things to sell straight off the bat, namely you. We have got more winter forage as well. In fact, we've got a lot of winter forage we can now make. So let's go ahead and make that. There we go. And that can go back in there. And then we want all of that done. Want more cranberry seeds. So many more cranberry seeds. Ooh. Apple jelly. I would like... Like, a load of cranberry seeds. That being said... Spice berries, something I can grow in the spring? They might be. I don't know, though. Might be worth starting to make the spice berry seeds as well. Yeah, let's go and do that. Right, so, cranberries, you go in there. The spice berries, though, you're going to be on my hot bar so that I can easily drop you in there. I'm going to need a load of sap for fertilizer. I'm going to need at least enough to make 20. In fact, let's just go ahead and make the 20 fertilizer now. There we go. And we can drop off the sap. Okay, we're making progress, I feel. Drop those in there. Okay, I'm going to need to hoe the ground. Thankfully, I am not going to need to water anything but this part. Because the sprinklers have been on for so long. I will need to hoe this part, though, as well. And down here, probably, as well. I'll just get them done so that if I do have to come down this far, I don't have to worry about it. There we go. Right. 20 tiles worth of forage. There we go. So convenient not having to water it all. So incredibly convenient. Summer seeds. Oh, wow! So this... This is forage. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm perfectly okay with just getting summer seeds. But the issue there is that it isn't a spring crop. Uh, are green beans spring crops? They might be. Strawberries maybe as well. But I've only got one of all of these, which is a pain. I guess turning them into... Uh, see, that's the thing. I really don't want to just turn them into something else. No, we'll wait on that. What I do need, though, is a bunch of walls to fix all of this. Because this place is just breaking constantly. There's nothing anything behind here as well. Yes, knew there'd be one. Oh, two. There we go. Need to fill your bowl with water. Need to go and get some more of this. But I am actually... Rem requires for oh, I've only got four. I am really surprised that it's going to be that easy to just get more and more forage stuff. Granted, though, thinking about it, that's not the best way to get summer seeds unless I get more from each one. No, because I get 10 out of 4 items. No. I'm going to pop in a golden crop, though, to see what I get from that. If that gives me more seeds, for example. I can see more walls I need to repair. Get these fixed. There we go. Now, I want the materials needed to make no some more of those torches, the sconces. Uh, do I have anything else I want to take out? Well, I've got loads of corn, actually. Take half of those. Getting the corn seeds would be pretty welcomed. I know, I feel a little bit bad about taking all of this away from here, but uh, it's going to be good to just be able to start. I'll just need some to start a couple of crops, and then Pierre can have... I'll buy the rest from Pierre, I think. I need the coal, which I've got, which now means I can make a bunch of these. One, two, three, four... Five, 
Six. Now, where are we going to start from? Uh, you know what? Let's start from... Uh, maybe that isn't the best place to start from. I don't know. Also, I don't really like that flooring underneath it. I, for some reason, I don't know. Let's see. About up here. Let's see. How many tiles is this? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go with five. Uh, sorry, four between each one. One, two, three, four. One there. You know what, actually? I could... I'm not sure. I could instead have alternating. I could have the wooden braziers between each of the stone ones. Well, I'll count out how many I actually end up placing, because if it's a... If it's not the right number, then that won't work too well. One there. We'll just light this whole place up. Have I got enough to make more? Yes, I do. Fantastic. One and two. That actually might be all I need. If not, then we're not going to be far off it. Might need one or two more. I'm going to guess one. Yeah, just two more to go all the way down. There you go. That's lovely. I could even space them out a little bit further, honestly. Uh, we'll have a look at that. More corn in there as well. It's getting pretty late now, though. Right, let's go drop all of this off. Okay, well... We now have enough iron that we can make our stable tomorrow. So I'm going to grab all of the materials that we need for that. We need the iron, we need the hardwood, we need the money... And I think that's it. We'll have to see. I might be a little bit off. We may need like a load of, of stone as well. And if we do, then I'll just have to make it. But that is going to be it for this episode, I think. So let's go ahead and duck into bed. Uh, I'm just going to double check that the girls are okay though first. Is everything alright in here? Steve is trying to sleep. Oh, we'll leave Fantastic. We're actually getting a reasonable amount of crops from those. Right, time for snoozings. Hopefully, we get a decent bit of money from all that. Right, ninth of winter. And we made a good chunk of change there. 2,355. We're so close. We, we are actually so, so painfully close to having enough money to fix that, that bus. But not quite enough. We'd need another two good days like that one to get it. But that is going to be the end of this episode. In the next one, I am going to be building the stable. So let me know if you would like your name as the horse or just a name. It doesn't need to be yours, your YouTube name or anything like that. You just suggest horse names and I will pick randomly from the last three videos comments which name we use. But until next time, do take care.